Uh, da rennt ja wieder einer. The people who give excuses, they will never know their limits and they maybe live a life which they don't want. They know that when we were three or four that we have a special disability. It's called multiple epiphysere dysplasie. Not, not many people have this in, in the world and they don't know that much about it. Every half year we were in the hospital and had a new operation and it was also frustrating because after operation you start to get back into life and uh, I also were able to walk again often and then the next operation came and you will start at point zero. No muscles anymore, no function in the legs anymore. In my mind I never accepted that I'm a wheelchair driver now. If I dream today, I never sit in a wheelchair. I always thought, okay, they run, I drive, but I didn't want to think about that I'm driving. While sitting alone at home or doing nothing, while others have fun and live their life. My mother was it who searched in the internet for a wheelchair tennis club. I never heard about that. And after I hit the first ball, I knew that's my sport. There was always a problem with my shoulder. I couldn't play tennis so long. I started to, to search for help in the internet and I found Freeletics. It was so tough at the first time. I wanted to quit and then there was a question, do you really want to quit now? And then I thought, for real, I don't. When you are in a rally, you can't stop. You have to give your best to be the fastest you can. And that's the same way you do in Freeletics. Try to be better than you the rest of the day. In my dream, I thought I was going to the pool at my grandma's house. And in the night I, I woke up and I thought, oh, let's go to the pool. And I tried to walk, but then I recognized, oh, damn, I, I need a wheelchair. We made everything together. We felt the same things, the same pain, the same story. It's not every time that you can do it by your own. So sometimes you need also the help of friends. Don't find excuses, move forward.